Tourists trapped in the Alaska volcano uh, pyroclastic surge. This is a volcano in the Chile, South America, and the Andes. And uh, as you can see, it's mostly erupting ash and pyroclastic particles. And uh, tourists were trapped here. You can see that they're, tr they're just seeing it and they're trying to uh, figure out what's going on. The next move is to move fast, as fast as you can. Get away from that because that is coming towards you. If you stay there, you get buried with meters of this pyroclastic hot material. They can easily just bury and cook you like a, you know, potato in the charcoal. This one is wise now. It's trying to run as fast as it can. Go down or go away from the uh, direction. This volcano is quite notorious for this. It has done it in the past also. And it's always there is a little, you know, lava pool down there. And uh, when it comes with contact with water, what happens is that uh, water expands suddenly and blow up the top of the volcano and create these surges. Very popular with the students to go there doing their geology. Field trips, as you can see, there is a lot of, you know, slumping and uh, cross bedding and layering of the pyroclastic surges. And, uh, but of, unfortunately, that may mean that some students may get killed or injured or something. It has happened in the past, students during the field trips, geology students, have been injured or have been killed. That's quite possible, especially in trenches. This is a, a place that only llamas from a distance, safe distance, are living near it. So it's quite remote. And you can see in the satellite images that the eruption is happening as, as it happened underground. You see it now affected within this space, from the space, how it is. Uh, the map of it shows that it's part of the Pacific Ring of Fire in the Andes, in the Chile, uh, where the almost near the bend of the and Andes, where uh, Chile joins the Peru. Uh, quite sad. I hope that everybody was all right after that.